or ma'am? No. Driver, stop here, please. Here? Yes. You can just go back to the house. You don't want me to wait for you? No. That is definitely Carla. Large from San Francisco? Look, has anyone else called, Charles? No. Run the ad for a week. We'll see what happens. Sounds good. Residence, may I help you? Who's this? Regina. Who is this? Hey, Regina, it's me, Louis. Hi there. You got fired, didn't you? Yeah, um, I did. Is Marnie out of jail yet? Yes, she came back yesterday. Uh, have you found any work yet? No, I haven't. Uh, have you seen Max around, Regina? No, he hasn't been here in a few days. Nobody's even touched his bed. Well, it's just fascinating. Do you know where he's living? Because, uh... He, he, he wanted me to buy some stuff for him, you know? And I got it here, and I don't want him thinking that, uh, I took his money. You know what I mean? No, sorry. I don't know. Well, could you find out for me? And do me a favor, Regina. Don't, you know, don't let anyone know that it's me who's asking, okay? Um, well, the problem is, he owes me some money. Okay, I'll try. Okay, well, I'll, I'll try again tomorrow, right? Thanks, Regina. Mm-hmm, okay. Marianne, she's for rent. I do not want that. That doesn't help me. Here it is. Look at this. What do you think? Hmm. I think Tony's behind this. Well, I think that's a really good possibility. I mean, we're not going to actually suggest that there's another David Larchmont around, are we? No, no, no. That would be extremely coincidental. Hmm. You want to call it or should I? No. 
No, 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 no. Throw it away. Yeah, and don't let Carla see it. She's such a nosy little brat. Mm. You know, she was asking me about him this morning. He's David Larchmont. I think we should tell her what's going on. No. No, of course not. See, this is just a game for her. She will just tell someone else. She has no personal interest in this. It's just a game for her. Yeah. What is your personal interest in this? I mean, you're not actually going to tell me that you love me dearly and are just dying to help me here, are you? That's the truth. I love you dearly, and I'm dying to help you. I see. <laughs> I gotta go, baby. Take care. Yeah, remember to throw this away. <sighs> okay. Regina. Yes, sir. Is Rachel back yet? No, sir, not yet. Yeah, let me know as soon as Rachel arrives, huh? What do you mean he came back without her? Well, where the hell did he leave her? Hmm. You're doing very well. How will I walk? Oh, in a little while. Are you saying he's not going to walk right away? No, little by little, he'll get used to his legs back again. Don't worry about it. Hey, Doc. Yes? Is the girl that hit me still in jail? No, no, she's out. Good. Well, I'll be back this afternoon. Thanks, Doc. Thank you. How are you feeling? Now I feel better. Oh. You know, I think Martin didn't say anything. Because if he had, we would have been long gone. I guess so. Look, don't you worry about anything. Those people, they have lots of money. We had to do this. If we didn't, you would have been crippled for the rest of your life. Good morning. Good morning. Is this Daniel? Yes. Hi. How are you? I'm okay. Good. Look, I'm here to apologize for what happened. Are you the girl that was in jail because of me? No, that was my sister. Huh? Anyway, it wasn't your fault. It was hers. And, uh, uh, we are so ashamed. Uh, we didn't have any money. and I we... know. You, you did what you had to do. Are you Mr. Stockdale's wife? Yes. What did the doctor say? When will Daniel get out of the hospital? So what are you going to do? Stay here? I don't know yet. You can set up a practice here. I can help you with that. I don't want your help, Dad. Look, Robert, you're a grown man now. You must realize that your mother and I got a divorce because we didn't get along. Not because of Victoria Stockdale. And I think it's horrible that you didn't love Mom. But you went on and married her anyway. And as soon as Albert Stockdale died, you divorced her thinking you had a chance with Victoria. Am I right? Things aren't always what they well, appear to be. Well, it doesn't matter. I'm not here for that. Well, what is it then? Um, we have an appointment tomorrow to, with the lawyer to go over Grandma's will. What time? Mm. 10 o'clock. Okay, I'll be there. We'll see you later. Rachel? Hi. I'm Robert Moore. Remember me? Oh, the doctor's son. Yes. I'm sorry, I didn't recognize you. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Were you here to see my father? No, um, I was here to see the boy that Marnie ran on. Oh, yeah, the kid. How's he doing? He's doing okay. Sure. Well, um, do you have a driver waiting for you? Actually, no, I don't. 
Well, I could give you a ride home if you want to. Are you sure? Sure, it's on my way. It's not a problem? It's not a problem. My car is back here. Okay. Okay, let's go. Thank you. Hey there. Carla, how are you? Oh, just wonderful. Came by to visit Alex and Rachel. Well, Rachel's not here. And Alex went off to visit Andrew. Oh, Have a seat. Oh, thanks. Do you like a drink? Uh, no, thank you. Okay. What's up, Tony? Nothing. Tell me, you and Rachel friends? Well, you know, we're a little friendlier now, but, you know, she's so uptight. Plus, I don't think she really likes me anyway. Why not, Carla? Well, first of all, I'm more a sister, and... I can't help but think she's a little bit jealous of that. Mm-hmm. But, you know, I do get along with Marnie and her dear dad. I mean, he is such a funny guy. I mean it... I don't mean it like an insult, okay? I'm sure you don't. You know, the other day I was talking to him about his life in San Francisco. <laughs> Half of that has got to be made up. I mean, nobody can really live like that. It's just Carla, incredible. Carla, who's David Larchmont? I don't know. <clears throat> yes, you do. <laughs> Why are you saying that? I've never heard that name in my life. Don't lie to me, Carla. Don't lie to me. I am not lying, Tony. Why are you so nervous? <laughs> I'm not nervous. You just caught me off guard. <clears throat> Who told you about him, Carla? <sighs> Look, I told you I don't know. Don't get me involved in your mess. What mess are you talking about? I don't know, Tony. If you're asking me about him, it's probably because you've got some problems with him or something. Carla, I'm sick of your lies and I don't have time for them. Who is David Larchmont? If you must know, David Larchmont is Rachel's boyfriend. Who told you that? Her father, satisfied. <laughs> wow. <laughs> this is a big one. Thank you for taking me to lunch, Robert. Oh, it's my pleasure. Don't worry about it, Rachel. Um, but why did you want to go back home? I just, I just didn't feel like it. Oh, yeah. I imagine you're not very comfortable there. Well, I know a couple of things about you, Rachel. That's right. Your father told you? Oh, some other persons have told me. <laughs> you know, you got yourself in a rat's nest now. I know. Look, if there's anything I can do for you, just let me know, okay? Why would you help me? Because I like you, Rachel. No, <laughs> Come. no, Rachel, no. Don't worry about it. I don't have any hidden agendas or none of that. Pure friendship, that's what I want. Okay. I'm sorry, Robert. Oh, go on, I understand. I just, I don't know how to trust anymore. I understand, don't worry about it. You're very attractive and, I mean... A lot of men approach you with other things in mind, right? But not me. Thanks. I really need a friend right now. You have to. I have enough problems already. What's your biggest problem? I don't think Tony loves me. You be serious about that, right? Tony doesn't seem to be the type of guy to get married without being in love. Hmm? I know. Robert, Tony never married me. I never told that. It's nothing like that. Carla told me that you said David Larchmont was Rachel's boyfriend, Peter. I never said it. Rachel's got a lot of friends. She's even had some boyfriends. Why? Why would Carla say something like that? I have no idea. Now, well, I've never heard Rachel mention that name before. But I have heard it. So you do know him? No, no, I, 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 don't, I don't know. I, I can't remember. Right. Seems that you forget, Peter, at the most opportune times.
Wait a minute. Tony, wait a minute. It was you! It was you that told me about him! Tony, may I talk to you a moment? What is it, Victoria? Max called me this morning. He told me he'd rented a house. Tony, I miss him a lot. Couldn't I please see him? You do not have to ask my permission. You can see him whenever you want. I don't really feel well enough to go out today. Do you think I could... Could he come here just fine. to visit me? Look, fine. Whatever you want. Say something about money. No, it's an ad for this David Larchmount guy. A couple minutes ago, Tony was down here, and he was saying that this Larchmount was your boyfriend. My boyfriend? That's right. He said Carla told him. He also said that I told Carla. Mara's sister? That's right. I told Tony they were both nuts. I'm sure he didn't believe you. No. You know, those two have been pulling this David Larchmont thing just to hurt me. They're not getting away with it. What are you going to do? I'm going to call this David Larchmont right now. Yeah. Dr. Moore's son brought it home. speak with David Larchmont. May I ask who's calling? Rachel Swanson. I'm sorry, ma'am, but he's not in right now. Would he like to leave a message? When will he be back? I have no idea. May I take a number, please? No. You tell him I'd like to see him. <sighs> tell him I'll meet him 11 o'clock outside the hospital downtown. The hospital downtown? Yes. Okay, anything else? No, that's it. Thank you. No, no, no. Wait a minute. You're not going to meet this guy by yourself. No. I'm bringing Tony with me. What for? Because I don't know who this guy is. And I know he doesn't know me either. And I want Tony to witness that. Look, Dad, I can just have Tony go with me and hide somewhere and watch. Then Marnie can just stand in for me, and ten minutes later I'll just show up. You sure this guy doesn't know what you look like? I'm positive. I have never seen him before in my life or heard of him. I know, but he could have seen a picture of you, honey. Or Carla or Mara. They could have told him what you look like. Rach, it's very dangerous. <sighs> Dad, I have to do something. I mean, I can't just... I can't just sit here and let this happen. I have to show Tony that I'm not lying to him. I know you do. But Rach, what if, what if the guy just pretends that he knows you, huh? Who's Tony going to believe, you or him? Now, it's best if I went with you. We'll meet this guy and see what he wants. Yeah. Charles, talk to me. Rachel called. The hospital tomorrow. What else did she say? Fine. I will call you later.
for you, Chunk. What do you want? Can I talk to you? About what? Just come to my office. <clears throat> Please. Where did you go? I went to the hospital to visit Daniel. Why'd you tell the driver to leave? Because I wanted to. So how'd you get back? You mean you didn't have your little spies tell you? <clears throat> I ran into Robert Moore at the hospital. I asked him to take me out for a cup of coffee. And then he dropped me off. What the hell would you go out with Robert Moore for? He's a friend of the family, right? Yeah. But he's not a friend of yours, Rachel. Look, as long as you are here, you are to behave with much more discretion. Oh, I'm not being discreet? Well, if that's the case, Tony, why the hell are you keeping me here then? <clears throat> what else did you do? Nothing. But tomorrow I'm meeting with David Larchmont. I want to see what my supposed boyfriend looks like. Isn't that what Carla told you? Why don't you come with me? I have to meet him at 11 o'clock outside the hospital. What do you want me there for, Rachel? So I can prove to you once and for all that this guy is lying. Tony, I've never met this man before in my life. And once you realize that, you'll know and you'll believe me. Look, I can't go tomorrow. I've got a very important meeting. You really don't care, do you? Hi. Am I interrupting? Excuse me. Well, now what? Tony, you gotta stop being such a bastard. Rachel made a mistake, okay? We all make mistakes. The point is, nothing really happened. I can't figure her out anymore. <laughs> And since when has anybody been able to figure out women? I sure as hell can't. Every day there are new mysteries with her. More lies. What happened this time? I have a feeling that the one behind all this is Max. In any case, we now know the whole story. I wonder why Tony never called the police. Well, it's obvious, isn't it? He wants to avoid a scandal. Besides, she told him that Max was her accomplice. What do you think? What do I think? I think it was Max. Well, what should I do now? I can't tell her I came here because her friend from San Francisco sent me. No, 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 no. You call her and you tell her that you know everything. And you ask her for the money, okay? Go ahead. Call her. Just don't say it's David Larchman. Say it's somebody like a hairdresser or something like that. Hairdresser. All right. Uh, good afternoon. May I speak with Rachel? Her hairdresser. <laughs> <laughs> Tell her to meet you tomorrow at the Scorpions Club, okay? Then we'll know if she's alone or not. I don't have a hairdresser. Hello, Rachel. This is David Larchmont. I want to see you tomorrow. Yeah? Well, I want to see you too. You know, I want to clear this thing up once and for all. Who the hell you are? I'd like to see if you could tell me that you're my boyfriend right to my face. Boyfriend? Yeah. Who put you up to this? Mara? Carla? I'll see you tomorrow at the Scorpion Bar. And you must come alone at noon. Fine. Wherever you want to meet me. How am I supposed to recognize you? I'll recognize you. And if you come with someone, I won't come near you. Bye. She said someone had told her I'd been her boyfriend. Who? Oh. Well, she mentioned some names. Uh, Mara? Carla ring a bell? Yeah. Oh, man. 
Didn't you tell me this David Larchman guy was sent by someone in San Francisco? If he supposedly was going out with Rachel, wouldn't you have told her this? I mean, wouldn't she have known this all along? Yeah, where did Carla get the guy's name from, huh? But she called Charles's house asking for David Larchman. Well, how should I know? But Rachel did ask you to go with her to the meeting. Doesn't that prove to you that she's telling the truth? I did appreciate that. <laughs> you appreciate that. Doesn't that show you that she's being honest, Tony? I don't know what the hell to do anymore. Yeah, but you're gonna let her go to the meeting. Why didn't you just tell her that you're the one that placed the ad? Now, why would I do that? I want the guy to call back. I want to find out who he is and what he wants. You do love her, right? Yeah. Well, then why don't you put the cards out on the table? And do what, huh? And do what? Be honest with her. Clear Who? things up. What am I supposed to say, Andrew? Oh, Rachel, I I'm sorry I've been such a fool. Could you lie to me again? Come on. Sometimes, Tony, if you want to be happy, you got to swallow your pride. I didn't tell anybody that David Larchmon is Rachel's boyfriend. Well, what about Carla? What, do you really think Carla would tell someone something like that? She invented David Larchmon. Well, yeah, but who would she tell and why? Come in. Hey, let's go have some dinner. I'm not hungry. Go ahead. Why? Bonnie, where have you been all day? Why, I was out with Andrew and Alex. What about you? I went to visit Daniel. Daniel? Yes, Daniel. The kid you ran over. You don't even have the courtesy to go see him, Marnie. And he's in the hospital because of you. Yeah, I know, you're right. I'll go see him tomorrow. What's he doing? Oh, the operation was successful, but we have to wait and see if he'll walk again. You sure you don't want any dinner? Yeah, I'm sure. Who did you tell that David Larchmont was Rachel's boyfriend? What? You told someone that David Larchmont and Rachel were some kind of an item. Now, why would you do this, and who did you tell? Look, in the first place, this idea of David Larchmont was mine, okay? Now, apparently, he's a real living person. The other day, somebody called the Stockdales to say that they were David Larchmont. Now, whose bright idea was that? Yours or Frank's? Carla, I will ask the questions. Who did you tell? Tony. Why Tony? Because he asked, and that's just what I came up with, okay? I told him the old man told me. Why the hell would he ask you something like that? How the hell would I know? Hi, give me that. Why are you sticking your pea brain in where it doesn't belong? Why didn't you tell me what you were doing? Carla, I forbid you from any further involvement in this matter. Do you understand me? Oh, you forbid me. Remind me to look it up in the dictionary. Meanwhile, why don't you tell me who's helping you? Who's pretending to be David Larchmont? Frank, isn't it? This is absolutely none of your business. But Frank has nothing to do with it. Sure he doesn't. Carla. Carla! You better get back here. I'm going to do the same thing to you, Frank. Send your family. Get out
What do you want? I missed you too. Is Tony here? No, he's at work. Good. Mom, listen, you gotta believe me, none of this is my fault. I don't want to talk about it. Mom, I don't care what anyone else believes. I don't give a damn about them. The only one I care about is you. You have to believe me. Please. All right, so we're not going to the hospital. No. He wants to meet me somewhere else. And he wants me to be alone, Dad. <laughs> no, 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 no. That's impossible. I'm going with you. Dad, you can't go with me. What if he knows you, too? Uh, it, he said that he would not approach me if I wasn't alone. Me, I, I, I can go with you and Miss Rachel and, and uh, just in case it, it, you need me. Well, that's a good idea. Yeah. I can sit out there and keep my eyes open. Hey, really, honey, it's a good idea. He can be a, he can be a witness. I don't know. All right. All right, I'll do it. Mother. Rachel's been all over me from the first day she got here. She's a very attractive girl, and it's... Difficult for me. She is your brother's wife. Exactly. That's why she blames me. She knows Tony won't throw me in jail. Mother, it's not fair. You've got to believe me. Why should I be thrown out of the house because of that girl? Max, have you been to bed with her? Oh. Yes. Once. Once. She told me to meet her down by the greenhouse. She was taunting me. She was teasing me. She told me she didn't love Tony. She wanted to get a divorce from him so she could marry me. Do you remember when I told you that she said she wanted to divorce Tony? Yes. Mother, it's important to me. Please. You gotta believe me. Help me. If I'm guilty of anything, it's for being stupid and letting myself fall for her. 
Are you in love with her? No. Not anymore. I mean, you don't know her. You only see what she wants you to see. I don't know what to believe anymore. You know, I talked to her. She told me the whole story, and she seemed very nice, very sincere. Are you saying that you think I'm lying? No, Max, it's... Do you think Tony's in love with her? Sure. Why wouldn't he be? She's very attractive, sexy girl. How are they getting along? I don't know. She sleeps in one room, he sleeps in another. Why are they mad at each other? I don't know. Well, why doesn't he just throw her out? Well, he did say if she weren't pregnant, he would get a divorce. And is she pregnant? No. helicopter accident tell me to never let you listen to me i swear on my life i didn't have anything to do with that do you really believe that rachel did yes but she couldn't have done it alone she had to have help who who would have helped her to talk to you. You know that guy David Latchman's no longer at the hotel? He still owes us a bunch of money. Yeah, he owes me a bunch of money too and an explanation. An explanation? <sighs> a little something you got me into. Where do you know I'm from? Are you writing a book? A friend introduced me. Huh? Hey, well, maybe your friend can tell us where we can find him. You know, we gotta tell him about the money and we gotta tell him that everything might be discovered. What? Why? How? Annie has a friend whose name is Martin. He works at the Stockdale's and he knows that Daniel was not hit by that girl. Martin? Annie says he's friends with Mr. Stockdale's father-in-law. That girl's father, you know, what if Martin talked or something? He promised Annie he wouldn't say anything, but I mean, you never know. Now, how did Martin find out? He's friends with Annie and Daniel and he knows that Daniel was already hurt. You know, we gotta find Mr. Lachman so we can pay him off or something. You know, Martin talks, we're all going to jail, you know that. Okay. Now, this is where I can be found. This guy shows up. Give him this. So I need to talk to him. It's muy importante. Okay? Okay. I'll see you later. Later. This is the right number. I need to talk to Mr. Lodgman. May I tell him who's calling? Julie. Well, uh, he's not in at the moment. Look, it's very important. Do you know when he'll be back? Tonight. May I take a message? Have him call you? I don't have a phone, okay? Look, tell him it's an emergency. Two things. One, he owes us lots of money. And two, there's a man that knows the whole thing. Everything. Everything? Uh, about what? The whole thing, if Mr. Stockdale finds out, I'm going to blow the whistle on him, okay? Hold on a second. Uh, 
I'm not sure if Mr. Larchmont will be back tonight, but uh, I know the whole story. Maybe we can meet somewhere and discuss it. Where are you? If he's not back tonight, I'll call again tomorrow. Just give my message, okay? Bye. Wait. Talk to her? No. No, you didn't talk to her? Or no, she didn't show? I don't know. Uh, I ran into some guy I knew from the club. So what? So he recognized me, and I couldn't hang around and wait for it. Look, uh, it's probably better this way. Uh, uh, this way she'll get really nervous. No, no. This is not a good sign, Bill. show up. David Larchmont? He never showed up with you. Is it that important? Yes. Why? Because I wanted to find out who he was and what he wanted from me. Someone is trying to come between us, and I'm not going to let it happen. Yeah. Don't be so upset, huh? What do I have to do? What do I have to do so you leave me? You don't have to do a thing, honey. Not a thing. Sure, it was Nina, the guy that stole my money. Did he recognize you? Hmm. He sure did. He pretended no, but I'm sure he did. Uh, I couldn't go after him because, you know, Senora Miss Rachel walked in at that moment. What about this David Larchmont guy? Did he show up? No, no. Man, I was furious when I saw him, and I figured Annie might know him because she used to work in that club. You know, I'm going to try to visit Danny. You know, Martin, I'm so tired of all this. Do you know what I think? Somebody's trying to hurt you and your daughters. How could they put Senorita Miss Marnie in jail? Well, really, it was her fault. And the guy that let her drive. What guy? I don't know, his name is, uh, his name is Lewis. He used to be a driver here. Everything some, some, some kind of strange, ain't it? Uh, you know, the only good thing that's happened out of this whole stinking mess, Martin? What? That young kid didn't die. I gotta go. Well, Martin. Yeah. I'll see you later, but, uh, next time you go visit Annie... I'd like to go with you. What? Um, uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah.
I'm not a killer. You've always hated Tony. It's true. But that doesn't mean I want him dead. Why didn't you want us to call the David Largemont number? Because when I spoke to him on the phone, he didn't want to leave his number, and all of a sudden it's very strange because the number's in the paper. What did you find out about it? Not much. But I'm having a friend at the local police station check it and find out what address the number originates from. You really think this guy helped Rachel with her plan? Maybe. I'm going to go up to the house, see if Tony and Rachel are back. Okay. I'll call you later. All right. What was he doing here? Visiting. Visiting? Since when does Max visit you? You're up to something. What is it? What, are you and Max planning something to hurt Rachel? So what if I am? So if Tony finds out, we're going to be in a huge amount of trouble. No one invited you into this plan. You're safe. You're such a coward. Bell residence, may I help you? Hi, Louis. It's me, Regina. He just walking by. One moment, please. Mr. Hauser? It's Louis. He wants to talk to you. Tony and Rachel back yet? Yes, sir. They are in the office. Thanks. Yes. Yeah, it's me, Lewis. We need to talk. Did Tony fire you? Yeah, he did. You know, I found out a lot of things, Max. Uh, some of them can be dangerous to your health. What the hell is it? What well, has to do with your scheme using uh, Marnie and me? All right, I'll come and see you. Yes? They're here. Okay. Tony, I know I made a lot of mistakes. I should have never accepted Max's proposal. I should have come to you or I should have gone to the police. But I got scared. You know, it's funny. Because rich people always seem to have an advantage in these situations. And now everybody's trying to make me look like a liar. Who do you think's behind all this? I don't know. But I know that Max and Mora have a stake in it. And I'm sure Carla has something to do with it. I mean, she's making up stories about David Larchmont being my boyfriend. You remember when we were in the bedroom and I was talking to him on the phone? Yes, I do. You remember when he said he was representing someone from San Francisco? Yes, absolutely, yes. See? My father could have never told Carla that. Because it isn't true, Tony. I know. We'll take care of it. Why'd you come into the bedroom last night? <clears throat> it's very hard for me to tell you, Rachel, how I feel. Why? <sighs> Just tell me. Whatever it is, tell me. I do love you, Rachel. Despite everything that's happened. I do love you. It's just that... 
and I think that you and Max are... When you are with me, I am fine. But when you're not, I have doubts. That keeps keep me close to you. <sighs> yeah, hello. Rachel's hairdresser's on the phone. Her hairdresser? That's David Larchmont. We talked to him. Fine, put him through. He calls saying that he's my hairdresser. Hello? What happened to you? You know, I waited for an hour and you never showed up. Uh, I had something very important to take care of. Uh, how about meeting tomorrow? Tomorrow? Same place? Fine, but if you don't show up this time, I'm... Fine. He said that he had something to take care of. That's why he couldn't make it to the meeting. Tony, what's wrong? What is going on with you, Rachel? Are you trying to drive me crazy? About. Who are you just talking to? I was talking to David Larchmont. My God, he uh, told me Rachel, that he... you never made an appointment with him. If you did, he wouldn't be calling you right. Get out! Get out! Why? Get out! Rachel. What do you want? Is this yours? What? I said, is this yours? Yes. I must have dropped it. Found it in the greenhouse. The greenhouse? I was never... I was in the greenhouse getting flowers for my room, and I found it on the ground. What were you doing in the greenhouse, Rachel? I, uh... I... Hmm? You went to meet Max, didn't you? Tony, it was a long time ago. It was when I first well, got I here. Well, I hate to intrude, but, I mean, the gardener cleans the greenhouse every other day. The earring was in very visible sight. That isn't possible, Camille. That's not true. Why are you all trying to destroy me? And you, you with your superior intelligence, you try, you're letting yourself be dragged down by these people. Whose idea was this? Yours or Max's? What idea? To find the earring in the greenhouse. I went into the greenhouse to get some flowers for our room. I saw the earring. How was I supposed to know it was Rachel's? You're lying. You got the earring somehow and then pretended to find it in the greenhouse. I don't care what you think or what you say. Listen, you better care. Things are getting dangerous and you're not going to win against Tony. I have no idea what you're talking about. I'm not doing anything. Look, Cammy, I'm not that stupid. You and Max planned this whole thing a few days ago, and I wouldn't be surprised if you got more involved in this somehow. But you're not going to beat Tony. You want to know why? Because Tony loves Rachel. And he's not going to quit until he finds out the truth. Good, I hope he does find out the truth. Maybe then he'll get rid of her or send her to jail. She's a fake. You have no idea what's going on. She never married Tony. After Tony came back from his accident, she was already here pretending to be his wife. Tony found out the truth, and Rachel said that Max was her accomplice. So what? Wasn't Max her accomplice? No. It was some other man. Who? David Largemont. Who told you that? Max. And you believed him? Absolutely. David Largemont exists, and he's here in Acapulco. I am not going to let that woman walk all over my brother. She deserves whatever she gets.
No, you can't go out. How many times do I have to tell you? But James, it is it's an emergency. Hello? James? Yes, ma'am? James, may I please have Dr. Moore's phone number? Aren't you feeling well? Yes, I'm fine. Um, I need to speak to his son, Robert. Oh, I can place that call for you, ma'am. That would be great. Thank you. Hey, who's sick? Martin, if you want to learn to be a good employee, you have to learn to be discreet. Oh, but I am discreet. I only want to know. Hello? Dr. Moore's resident? May I speak with Robert, please? From the Stockdale resident. <laughs> Aren't you fancy pants? Are you going to let me go or not? No, I told you. Get out of here. <laughs> Hello, Robert? Yes, uh, Rachel would like to speak with you. I'll place the call through. Just one moment, please. It's Rachel. Hi, Rachel. Hi, how are you? Robert, I need, I need to see you. Sure. When? As soon as possible. Uh, today. And if Tony finds out, he'll be really mad at you. Oh, come on, it doesn't matter. Tony. I, I just have no one else to go to. You know, I'm glad you thought of me as a friend. Fine, I'll see you later. Okay, sure. I'll be there. Fine. Bye. What does she want? I don't know, but she sounded like she was crying. I feel so sorry for her. I'm glad to hear you say that. Why? Because that means you're not only pretty, but you have a heart, too. <clears throat> I'm hoping to see my boyfriend soon. Oh, yeah, your boyfriend. I was forgetting about that little detail. <laughs> What's he like, huh? Well, he's, um, he's very good looking. Mm -hmm. What else? I like him a lot. Why? I don't know. I, I just do. Does it have to be somebody special in order for me to like him? Special to you, yes. He's very good looking. You already said that. He's charming and, and I have a good time with him. Yeah, what else? You know, you seem older than you are. Did you know that? Older? What do you mean? You're very serious. Other guys your age aren't as serious. Well, does it bother you that I'm serious? No, no, not at all. I guess I'd better head home now. Well, do you have a car? Yes, yes. Maybe we can see each other tomorrow? I'd like that. Maybe I can take you out to dinner tomorrow. Well, I promised my boyfriend I would go with him. <laughs> okay, I give up. <laughs> I'll take you to your car, okay? Okay. So Tony fired you. Yeah, he did. And why'd you blow the whistle on Marnie? Not a problem. She's out of the picture. But Max, you promised you I wouldn't. I didn't promise you anything, Lewis. You know, what if she would have been sentenced to jail, man? What's your problem? Why are you hassling me? She's a young girl. Well, of course she is. We were only supposed to scare her, Max. That's all. That's exactly what we did. Scare her. She got what she deserved. Lewis. He just... Lewis, I'm going to get my way one way or another. You better watch out. Are you threatening me? There's a guy working at the house. His name is Martin or Martine. Uh, do you know this guy? No. No, I don't. Well, apparently he's... Uh, He's friends with Daniel, and he knew him from before the accident. He knows he wasn't the victim. How does he know that? I don't know. Julie told me. She also told me that, uh, 
You went by the house looking for someone to be the victim of an accident. But uh, <laughs> the best part is uh, you told her your name was David Larchmont. You like that, huh? <laughs> this time we go and pay a visit to this Julie. Come on. Excuse me, sir. Mr. Stockdale's not here. Where is he? I don't know, sir. I'd like to wait for him in his office. Certainly come right this way. Thank you. Hey, man, just one little miserable hour. I said no. But it is urgent. That guy stole my money. Serves you right. Ah. <laughs> Oye, espérate, no seas mula, mano. Vas a ver, espérate. Well, hello there. It's good to see you. How are you? I'm fine. Well, you don't look so good. Would you like something to drink? No, I wouldn't, Mara. Okay. I'd like to speak to Carla. Is she here? Carla? Well, no. What can I do for you? You ever heard the name David Larchmont? David Larchmont. Actually, you know, I think I have. Isn't he the gentleman that called your house that night? Has Carla ever mentioned him to you? No. Why? Well, it seems that Mr. Swanson told Carla that David Larchmont and Rachel were together in San Francisco. Now, Tony, are you going to get jealous every time another man's name is mentioned? Don't be ridiculous. You know, maybe what the problem is, is that Rachel may not be all she's cut out to be. Did you think about that? I mean, your courtship wasn't a very long one. And... Maybe, maybe you just don't know her very well. Maybe she's just after your money, Tony. Why would you say that to me? Well, because it might be true, that's why. I mean, her father and her sister are <laughs> not exactly a class act, wouldn't you say? You heard from Max lately? Max? No. Carla. Hi, Tony. Come here, please. I spoke to Mr. Swanson, and he told me that he never told you that David Larchmont was Rachel's boyfriend. Well, that's what he said, so you're just going to have to decide who you want to believe, him or me. You know, you know what might have happened is he might have been drunk when he told you. He drinks a lot, doesn't he? He might have been drunk. Yeah, actually, he was drunk. I didn't want to tell you, but he was pretty drunk. You know, Tony, I don't think it's so strange that Rachel had a boyfriend. What is strange is that she's denying it, though. Do you know that David Larchmont is in Acapulco? Uh, me? No. No. You disappoint me. Mora. He knows we did something. Maura, who cares? Let him think whatever he can. Did Robert call? I don't know. Oh. Good to see you, Mr. Lachman. Did you get my message? What message? I got your number and I left your message. What number did you call? The number that was in the newspaper. Look. Here it is. Check it out. Who answered when you called this number? Some guy. 
I told him I wanted to talk to you. And what did you say? Nothing. I just told him that you owe me money and that there's some guy that knows Danielle and... You mentioned Danielle? I didn't say his name. I just said that there was some guy that knew the whole story. That's all. And what did he say? He wanted to know what I was talking about. So I told him to give you my message and that I'd call back. Mm -hmm. The place is sad. I don't know. Are you sure you didn't mention the person who knows Danielle? No way. Well, why are you asking all these questions? That isn't your number or what? No, it's not. All right, Julie, I want you to tell me everything you know about Martin, the person that Lewis told you about, and then we'll figure out how to fix this, all right? Okay. Charles, what's up? Just wait until you hear this. Go ahead, put the tape in. James. Yes, ma'am. Is Tony back yet? Yes, ma'am. He's in his office with Charles Packer. Thank you. Look, tell him it's an emergency. Two things. One, he owes us lots of money. And two, there's a man that knows the whole thing, everything. Uh, about what? The whole thing. If Mr. Stockdale finds out, I'm going to blow the whistle on him, okay? What do you think? She says that there's a man that knows everything. That everything about what? She also mentioned you. No, this is so damn confusing. Who, for God's sake, is this David Larchmont, huh? I have no idea. Someone told me that it was Rachel's boyfriend. I talked to Rachel. She, of course, said that she never even knew, knew him. Look, Charles, this woman calls you tomorrow. Give her your address. Tell her that David Larchmont will meet her there. Then call me so I can be there when she arrives. Excuse me, senora. Would you give me permission to go out? Martin, I don't know if I can do that. You just have to say yes. You are the boss's wife. I got to talk to a friend. I think she knows the guy that stole my money. James doesn't want to let me go out, but you can't say yes. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> Gracias, señora. Thank you. to go to. Well, I'm glad you think so highly of me. You know, I'm your friend. What can I help you with? Can I borrow some money? Sure. Um, how much? A thousand dollars. Well, uh, <laughs> sure, I guess so. Um, what for? Because I want to go back to San Francisco. I want to get out of here. That jerk better send us money real soon. Who does he think he is anyway? Relax, man. He's always come through before. We've done everything he asked, and all he said was a measly hundred bucks. I'm gonna kick his butt if he keeps on going hey, like hey, this. Hey, cool your jets, pal. Hello? Ron. Max? Did you get the money I sent? Oh, yeah, the whole hundred bucks. Is this a joke? No, it's not a joke. You'll get more soon. Well, you better get our money soon because we're going to get real bad with you, man. Sorry, we must have a bad connection. Are you threatening me? I'm just telling you. Well, stop it. I want you to find a man who worked for Tony Stockdale. His name is Martin. He's just like you. He's a lowlife. It shouldn't be too tough. What for? 
Why do you guys ask so many questions? You're like kids. Just do it. Where would we find this Martin dude? I already told you where he works. The rest is up to you. That's why I'm paying you. Oh, that's right. I forgot. That's where we get this huge mega bucks, right? Look, Ed's getting Nancy. So you better cough up that money real soon, mister. Just do what I say and everyone will be happy. Okay, this is the last time we do anything for you until we get some money. Mm-hmm. I'm not going nowhere. Come on. It's not that tough, pal. You'll come through. We know too much about this guy. He needs to pay us. I heard what you told him. This is the last time we do anything until we get some dough. Okay. Come on, let's go. Let's go get him. Who is it? How are you? Okay. What is Annie? She went out for a while. Hey, who got you into this mess? Julie. Mm. Who is she? And his friend. The man said I'd get better. He gave us a bunch of money. Mm. What man? His name is David Larchmont. What?